Hello everyone and welcome to the New Tech Connect Spark Pro Get Started Training. The Connect Spark Pro is a device built by New Tech that brings in live video and makes it available as an NDI video source. You can use Connect Spark Pro with a camera, gaming console, computer, or any other HDMI enabled device to distribute video directly to viewers at on-site events or to viewers all around the world. It supports up to 4K 60p HD resolution and connects via a standard network connection. Let's dive in and take a look. Let's start first by opening up the Connect Spark Pro. So, first thing is our new tech welcome card, along with the Connect Spark Pro itself, along with a USB C power cable and power adapter. All right, so let's take a look at the front of the unit here. We have our HDMI input, along with a quarter inch input for bringing in external audio sources, along with a reset button. And on the back of the unit, we have our Ethernet network connection to connect it to our NDI environment, our PowerPoint, an eighth inch jack for external tally, and an eighth inch jack to bring out an audio source as well. Okay, so the power is plugged in and our Ethernet network connection is plugged in. Now I'm going to take the HDMI output of my camera and plug it into the HDMI input of the Connect Spark Pro to convert it into an NDI video source. Now that everything is connected, to configure your Connect Spark Pro and to view the output of it, you'll need to download the NDI Tools Pack available at ndi.newtech.com and fire up NDI Studio Monitor. So I'm opening up NDI Studio Monitor, and up here in the top left, this menu lets you browse your network to view what sources are broadcasting over NDI. I'm going to select the output of my Connect Spark Pro, and boom, now we have our Connect Spark Pro video coming off of our camera. Now to access the administrator panel to configure your Connect Spark Pro, click on the gear icon in the bottom right of NDI Studio Monitor. Now this is going to open up a web browser in which you can log in to configure your Connect Spark Pro. Now the username by default for this is admin and the password is also admin. From here you can enable 4K output of the Connect Spark Pro. Also choose between digital and analog audio for the input. This tab at the very top allows you to access the administrator mode of the Connect Spark Pro. This is where you can go to completely rename your Connect Spark Pro, along with rebooting it and to update the firmware, which you can find at newtech.com. You can also go through and change the password if you want and configure your network settings directly from here. From this menu, you can choose between either obtaining your IP address automatically or you can do it manually as well. Once you have that selected, just click apply. And at the bottom here is where you can configure your Connect Spark Pro for multicast. Now let's take a look at how to bring in the output of the Connect Spark Pro into the TriCaster. Within the TriCaster interface, select the input and under your sources, select the output of the Connect Spark Pro. And you're off and running. Now you can also further configure the Connect Spark Pro within the TriCaster interface simply by clicking on device web page next to the input. And from here, it will allow you to log on to your Connect Spark directly from the web browser. So within the TriCaster interface, you'll notice that I can have my input on the program row and the corresponding tally light will show up on the Connect Spark Pro device itself. So when it's on your program, you'll have a red light, and if it's on the preview, it will be a green light. Now the administrator panel for the Connect Spark Pro can be accessed from any web browser simply by typing in the IP address of that device. But let's say that we've forgotten what that IP address is. You can still find it by directly connecting your laptop or other computer into the Connect Spark Pro using a standard Ethernet network connection. So you'll need to disconnect the network connection from your Connect Spark Pro and plug in another network cable directly from the Connect Spark Pro into the network connection of your laptop 
PC, or Mac. Now once your devices are directly connected to each other, you can establish a local link by opening up the network settings of your computer and we'll change the adapter settings on Windows in this case. So I'll right click on my Ethernet output and then select properties then TCP IPv4 click properties on this and then just type in an IP address. It doesn't really matter what you use here 1.1 and then the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 and then the default gateway we'll make that match up with our IP address at the top but we'll put in a zero here at the bottom click on OK then open up NDI Studio Monitor now once you have that selected we'll basically wait for the local link to be established and under this drop down, we'll be, now we can see Connect Spark Pro. We can select that. And now, as soon as I have it logged in, you can see that I have that little QR code at the bottom and the IP address. Or you can simply click on the gear icon at the bottom of the screen here. And that will bring up a web browser with the current IP address of this device. Now you can log into this device again with the username and password and either keep these settings the way they are by default or change them directly from here. Connect Spark Pro is perfect for converting any output of a camera, computer, gaming system, or any other HDMI device into NDI to connect to your production workflow. Thank you for watching.